buddy? What's wrong? I don't know, man. I'm just not feeling very tactical today. I got what you need right here. Tight glasses? Yeah, man. And I tell you what, when I'm feeling down, ain't nothing like a pair of these to get me going. Whoa, you're right. I do feel tactical, like full tactical, like a, a tactile doc. Yeah, tactile doc. I'm going to come back and shoot later. All right, buddy, I'll see you. What makes something tactical? There are many products that claim to be tactical. But are they really? On this series, we put those products to the test. This is Tack Crap. How's it going, shooters? As you saw from that intro today, we're reviewing a pair of sunglasses. Which brings me to this. A brand new series. It's called Tack Crap. It's where I take all those products you see online and in stores that had the word tactical plastered on the front, and I put them to the test. On today's episode, we're reviewing tight glasses. Now, if you go to the tight glasses website, you're going to see a list of features and benefits that tight glasses give you. The first one being amazing light filtering technology. The next one is let you see clearly without the glare. Enhances colors for eagle sharp vision. Can survive even the harshest conditions. Inspired by sunglasses. Worn by the military. Okay. I've never tested sunglasses on here. So I've got a couple pair of sunglasses that are in the same price range that are both polarized. And we're gonna test them against the Bell Howl as seen on TV type glasses. All right. Now they boast all kinds of crap. Includes polarized lens tester. It shows you uh, looking out across the desert. You can enjoy the view in full color while wearing sunglasses. I don't know. Let's open these up. Now you'll notice that these sunglasses are up here at the top and you got this big space down here. I have a sneak of suspicion that there's nothing in there. Or if there is, it's not much. Seems like a lot of wasteful spending. Okay. I'm going to remove these. Oh, oh, there is something in there. Hold on. Looks like a piece of paper and a cleaning cloth. Oh, a carry bag. Well worth your 20 bucks. Lens cleaner. Piece of plastic with a eagle on it. See that? That's the lens tester. Wear tight glasses to see the magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic. Let's check that out. Arbitration agreement. Yeah. All right. First, I'm going to try this lens tester. Whoa. Okay. It actually shows it in color. Hold on. Nothing. Dun dun dun. They might actually have a little merit when it comes to color showing. Now, this looks gray on camera. It looks plain. Now, you see some variations in the colors, but it looks like shades of gray. I'm gonna bring this in front of the camera, and I'm gonna see if I can show you through the camera whilst uh, using the power of tight glasses. Now, the colors are actually reversed on camera compared to what they normally are. The head of the eagle is uh, red when you're looking down through your eyes. And the flag here is uh, blue. So it kind of reversed the colors. Now let me show you the difference. Grab these. Nothing. All right, these. Again, nothing. Now, that truly is kind of crazy. I really wish the camera could see what my eyes are seeing. If I could find a picture, I'm gonna put it up on the screen 
to show you the colors it's supposed to be. It don't look really like an eagle. I mean, its head's red. It kind of looks like a vulture with uh, with a gray wig on and some killer sideburns. But I have never tested anything like this. Now the looks of them, meh. Not a big fan of them. Now the only way I know to test these is to do two things I do a lot. Driving and shooting. Now they include a list of activities these are good for. Skiing, surfing, I think's one of them. But no shooting. Bell and how? How could you have something called tight glasses and not include shooting? How dare you? Disappointed! All right, let's go shoot some stuff. Okay, now one of the claims they make is you can see in shadows, things like that. Well, right here where we're at, the sun is setting, and I want the sun right in our eyes when we were shooting. Well, Tom's got away from me a little bit, but the sun's still kind of in my eyes, and it's coming through. But all this down here on my target area is in shadow. Now let's see what kind of picture I get with the tight glasses. Okay, things, I can see collar, but things look kind of dark. Let's see if you can see this on camera. Yeah, things look kind of dark. A little bit of a glare, but all right. Okay, I was able to get a sight picture and hit my targets. Let's see what that looks like from your end. Next, the other $20 pair of sunglasses. Now I can already tell you, I can see the targets a lot better. Like, a lot better. Like, night and day difference. Not very good tight glasses. Not very tight. Alright, made all my hits. Now these fogged up really quick. It is hot out here, but these fogged up really quick. Alright, let's see what it looks like on your end. Okay, the last pair of polarized $20 sunglasses. Okay, again, the collars are much better. It's a much clearer picture. So in the lower kind of light, nah. All right, let's see what it looks like shooting from your end. For the first part of our test, I chose A, because I mean, it's pretty obvious. Okay, shooting in low light, they're a little darker. I wish I got out here earlier and could have shot with the light really in my eyes. But I did get some footage of driving with the directly into the sun and just driving normal. So we're gonna flip over to that and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give you my final report. For this part of the test, I chose A because of its overall clarity. On this portion, I actually chose tight glasses. What about you? What did you choose? Now we got those tests out of the way, but something just as important is comfort. Which pair is the most comfortable? Tight glasses, pair A, or pair B? Well, let's just try them out. That's the only way to know. I don't like the way these fit off of my face. Personally, I like a pair of sunglasses that are close to the face. Because when I'm, when I'm moving outside, I don't want rays coming in. These, these feel good. They're tight against the face, but they're also tight right here. These arms are soft on both pairs. Those are very stiff and rigid. This pair, it's tight, it's comfortable. The nose piece is comfortable. Everything feels comfortable about these pair. For this, I think I'm gonna pick these. Well, let's get a second opinion. I'm gonna let my wife try them on. My wife wears glasses normally, so she's a bit of an expert.
To me, the winner's clear. Pair A. They're a cheap pair, they're in the same price range, and they perform so much better than these so-called tack glasses. So, I guess that makes these tack crap. Full beard manly.